Thanks, Jared. So this rate cut is colliding with presidential politics. At what point do you think Americans will start to feel the broad economic improvements that come with this rate cut? Would it happen before the election? Well, let me start with the political reference. Um, I'd like to quote from you uh, from a Wall Street Journal uh, lead editorial um, a couple of days ago. Quote, we don't agree with those who say a cut in rates this week is political or intended to help Kamala Harris. Now, I don't think the Ed Board of the Wall Street Journal is associated much with Democrats or liberals, so I take that as a, a statement that I uh, very much agree with on the non-politicization, non political, I don't know how to say that word, on the, uh, on, on, on the fact that what Chair Powell was doing was monetary policy, not politics. Now, your more you know, relevant question uh, is, is about when these interest, when people start to feel these interest rate cuts, right? That was the other thing you asked. Um, interestingly, the first part of that answer is already. Because of the priced in dynamics, that is, the mortgage rate, uh, we talked about housing a minute ago, uh, you go back a few months, it was 7.5%. As of this morning, it was 6.1, I believe, 6.15, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, that's a big step down, and that occurred before uh, any Fed rate cuts took place, um, in large part uh, due to um, the expectation, market expectations, that those rate cuts were going to occur. So that's a priced-in effect. Now, then there's um, the dynamics in home lo in, in auto loans, in credit card loans, in business lending, and that can take anywhere from weeks to months to quarters. Uh, I think, uh, again, I think Powell talked about it yesterday, talked about it rippling through. So that, that occurs with more of a lag, uh, but, uh, but some of it's already priced in. And do you think the Fed waited too long to cut rates? I'm not going to comment on Federal Reserve monetary policy. The previous president no matter what the state of the economy, no matter what was going on, every single good thing that happened, he personally took credit for immediately, saying this is the best economy ever, we've had more jobs ever than anywhere in the universe, <laughs> et cetera. Should this president have done the same thing in order to cheerlead more and get people better, more excited about the state of things? I'm an economic advisor, and I try to stay in my lane. Uh, so, you know, I have, over the course of my long relationship with President Biden, tried to give him a little political advice, and you know, frankly, he doesn't want to hear it from me, uh, and I respect that. Uh, I, let, but let me say the following, what your question makes me think. I, I think that uh, where I go with that is what measures has President Biden taken wherein those policies help to lower inflation? help to tackle some of its causes, help to get us where we are today, because I think that's actually an important part of this explanation. One of them we already talked about, by respecting the independence of the Federal Reserve, after his predecessor, predecessor repeatedly criticized the Fed and undermined its independence, simply by respecting that independence, uh, that helped uh, give them the space to do the monetary policy they believed to be uh, needed to get us here. Uh, as I mentioned again, and he cited this in his speech today, he unleashed record energy production to lower gas prices. He brought together, this is one of my personal favorites, uh, he brought together business and labor to fix our supply chains. This is the unsnarling of supply chains that was so important to the disinflation. And one of the charts that we highlight a lot at CEA is if you look at uh, measures of supply side snarling, uh, supply side constraints, and you plot them against the commodities or the good components within the CPI, they track each other very closely. In fact, I'll make sure to put that up on my Twitter feed, econjared46, uh, <laughs> give me a follow, um, later uh, uh, today. Uh, to show, to, and, and, and that, that, uh, that, that, that is something that, that this, uh, uh, comes directly from the Supply Side Disruption Task Force, of which uh, I and my colleagues here were uh, card-carrying members, and now he's rebuilding our infrastructure and investing in the manufacturing uh, sector to strengthen these chains. He took on big pharma to lower prescription drug costs. So these are concrete measures that we've taken to help get us to where we are, and I would argue President Vice President's fingerprints are on these results.